And so from that, there's been some really interesting discussions around what women have to do to navigate a, a, a landscape of a, you know, quite often male dominated work environment. And what I like to, to sort of talk about is this idea that, you know, it's not because, you know, men are bad and men are biased and men are doing this to women and that that's why there's, you know, unequal numbers at the top mm. and women have to work harder and change who they are. It's really about this idea that we're in this land of second generation bias. Um, so what that means is we've inherited policies and procedures and cultures from eons ago that don't fit today's mindset of equality. But it means it's stuck in the fabric of our structures and our policies and procedures so we don't even realise it's happening. Um, and so until we start having conversations where everyone in that system, which happens to be men and women, are able to get on board with actively and proactively doing something to make it different, it's going to stay the way it is. So for women... Women need to understand that the rules are slightly different for women because we, because not because we're broken, not because we're not as good as men, none of that rubbish, but because we are a minority in a majority system when it comes to leadership. Mm. So what that means is we have to understand that we are seen differently, we are heard differently. And a lot of the things I talk about with women is this idea that um, you know, a lot of women worry that they have to turn into a man, for starters. That's the number one thing. I don't want to have to become a man. I hear you. Yes, I never said you did. Good, don't worry about that. And the second thing is, Annalie, you know, I don't want to have to become an extrovert if I'm an introvert. I don't want to have to become somebody that I'm not. And this is really important. I don't want anyone, and same with your magazine, hashtag just do you, right? We don't want anyone to feel like they have to become somebody different in order to get ahead. Mm. And having said that, you also need to understand that, that leaders in today's environment have not yet cultivated this really critical skill of being able to see and value difference for what it is mm. so we often see people and we write them off or we discount them or we um under undervalue them or overlook them because they don't look like the kind of leader we expect them to look like they're too quiet they're too soft they look too shy whatever the case is so we have to understand that there's perception issue going on there's a majority minority issue going on Women also face this idea of a social backlash. So if they, they get advice like be confident, be strong, ask for a pay rise, you know, sing your praises, you know, highlight the great work you've done, but don't be boastful, don't be arrogant, you know, don't, don't get all ahead of yourself now, mm -hmm. don't be so aggressive. And so women are getting mixed messages mm -hmm. and they get this social backlash. It's the double bind. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So we need to understand what's going on, how do I navigate the situation and how do I get ahead being me.